Hey guys, so in the late summer, one of my favorite things to do is stop at sunflower patches on the side of the road and look for bees. Well, bees and other bugs. Sunflowers are really good plants, especially in the late summer when a lot of things are drying up. So sunflowers attract a variety of bees like these bumblebees, but one of the bees I get most excited about is actually called the sunflower bee. Well, actually we should kind of clarify this. There's lots of bees that people call the sunflower bee. This one is Svastra obliqua. It's a sunflower specialist, meaning it only visits sunflowers and relatives of sunflowers to collect pollen for, to, to provision their nests. So there's actually three subspecies of Savastra obliqua. In the east, there's Savastra obliqua caliginosa, only lives in the east coast. In the Midwest, we have Savastra obliqua obliqua, and in the western states, we have Savastra obliqua expurgata. So you can see that there's some differences with the, the amount of dark hairs on the abdomen and other things like that, with the lightest ones being out here in the West. So I was recently in Texas visiting a friend and doing some research on bees and velvet ants. I was lucky enough to come across several of these Savastra obliqua foraging on gumweed, a relative of sunflowers. I also found one of their nests. So Savastra are not only big and specialist bees, they nest in the ground, sometimes in aggregations. So we found several of these nest entrances and saw a couple of the bees going in and out. It's pretty cool. So how do you know if what you are seeing is Savastra? Well, it's actually pretty easy to tell them apart from other big bees like bumblebees because of their color pattern. Savastra are pretty distinct. Well, at least Savastra obliqua. But the diagnostic character for Savastra actually is this thing called spatulate hairs. Hairs that are kind of flattened like a spatula. So if you have the ability to zoom in really close to some of these hair bands on the abdomen, you can see some of these flat spatulate hairs and you'll be sure that you are looking at a Savastra. So as you're out wandering around, check the sunflowers for sunflower bees.